Hi guys, so I'm back again and I have a pennies haul um, in the UK, it's called Primark, actually I think it's in America now, so it's called um, Primark there as well, but here in Ireland it's called pennies and um, I got a few stuff. <laughs> oh. So I have a nice big bag of stuff, um, it's just a few th little things that I picked up, some things I was needing, some things that, you know. I just wanted. So one of the first things I got, which um, I will insert a clip of here, is one of the letter, the framed letter things. I forget what they're called, but they're it's basically like a frame, and you can like stick letters into it, and you can write whatever saying you want. I've seen these places um, like online and stuff like that, and I just spotted it when we were in Pennies, and I was so excited. Um, what are you doing, Merle? Come away from all that stuff now away. You can lie down there, you're alright. And uh, I just knew that I had to have it because it was only 8 euro, it was really cheap so if you're looking for one like that um, definitely check out pennies. So it was 8 euro and you get loads of letters. Um, like you get 200 and something like letters and numbers and little symbols and things. So at the moment I have um, Stay Sexy and Don't Get Murdered from My Favourite Murder um, which you definitely need to watch. It was actually the reason I was up in Dublin we went to see them live and afterwards the next day I went into Penny's and got some stuff. So I'm just going to dip my hand in and take out whatever's in there. So first thing is, oh, some socks. Some cute little socks and these are little pushings. I was so excited to see these. I think I got another pair of them as well. Here they are. So some pushing socks. These are just the best. I am absolutely so excited about them. So these ones, um, now what I love about them is pushing is on all of them. Uh, sometimes when you buy packs like this, there'll always be one pair or even two pairs that would be blank. That would be just kind of have nothing on it, which is like really irritating. But um, this is um, pushing and, oh my God, so cute. He's like a little, you know one of those sugar things? You know, they're like sugar and they're crunchy. I think that's like, or is he supposed to have cream on top of him? I don't know. But there's a little pushing. She's there. Then these ones are ice cream cones. Look. Oh my God. They're so nice. I love them so much. Now, I don't usually buy socks now because I have tons of them. But I might go through them to make space for these because these are so cute. And there is pushing with some little macaroons. These are just the cute. I mean, they're so cute. I love them so much. And um, these are long socks. So these socks like are just regular socks, but these ones are ankle socks. Um, I love these type of socks because especially in the summer, they're a lot cooler um, than really thick socks. But these are like the um, Permade. So this is like the little Pushing Mermaids. So it's Permade. And again, they're all got some, pu some Pushings on it. There's some more Pushing Mermaids. And then the back one is, oh, is a pushing on a seahorse. I can't, you can't see it fully there, but it's a little pushing on a seahorse. That is so cute. I am in love with that so much. Next, we just have some very generic shoes. So, what's got you so interested in them? You're not allowed to shoe them. Oh, the pushing socks were um both 350 each. So, super cheap. Um... I think they were anyway. There's no price on this one for some reason. Anyway, I got these shoes. They're just, they're not amazing. They're just kind of a denim -y style. They're blue. Not really my thing at all. But the reason I got them was I just need a new pair to kind of slide on when I'm walking around the house, going outside or anything like that. If I'm just quickly going somewhere, these are the kind of things that I like. These were nine euro. These were in the men's section because the women's ones, I can't find any that are really decent. Um, an awful lot of them are really cheap feeling or they've they've got a really weird um, canvas on them that is like too light. I don't really know what's going on there but that's the reason I bought these. It wasn't really for fashion or anything like that. It was just for comfort. My other ones that I have um, are falling apart too so I just needed a new pair. Um, next. Oh, I got this. Look how cute. It's a little um, pouch. Um, it just has some crap in it, but it's just a little like, um, I don't, oh damn it, I just got lipstick on it. No. Um, I think, I think it's just like a little purse, but um, I'll find something to do with it. It was originally four euro, but I got it for a euro. I was so excited. So obviously it's the Genie from Aladdin, amazing. And it has even got the, 
the little um, lamp on it, the genie lamp, like it's so nice. Um, I just like putting like little things in this for traveling, they're great as well. But I just like putting little bo bits and bobs um, into these things and then putting them into drawers and stuff just so that things are together. Um, I just, yeah, I just knew there had to be something I could use them for, especially for one euro and especially when it looks so nice. Next. Oh, next is this. This is super cute. This was actually something that I was going to buy on AliExpress before, which is um, a beauty blender holder. But this is a beauty blender sponge and case. So it says sweet cheeks and it was four euro. So it's a good price. It's a lovely pastel thing. I'm going to open it and we're going to see what's inside it. And I'm going to tear it to shreds because it has sticky things on it. Um, I was hoping that it would be a good size to hold my beauty blender, so I still hope it is. But this is their beauty blender, which is very hard, and I know like I will wet it and I'll try it out, but I don't like any other generic beauty blenders at all. I'd really love the real technique ones. Um, but this is what I wanted. This little case for traveling, for just putting my beauty blender somewhere, because after I use it, I find that it rolls around everywhere, it gets makeup on everything, and I have like I've nowhere kind of for it to, it to go. So I'm gonna put one I put it in this and um it will hold it nicely and I'll be able to um bring it with me when I need it. And especially sometimes sometimes if you're going somewhere and you kinda of wanna bring your beauty blender in case you have to do up any touch ups or anything like that, if you have to like blend any bits of your like head or face or something. Um, yeah, so I just think that that's super cute and again four euro So I I don't I don't I'm not really bothered about this I do hope they kind of come out maybe with sets with, with just the little things for your beauty blenders But yeah, that was cute next was this um, this is so cute. They have a lot of this k-pop I'm assuming it's Korean style um, little masks and things um, I definitely want to try them now. This was in Liffey Valley, so I think more local places, I don't think they have as many, but um, I need to check them out. But this is Dreamy Lips, two-step lip scrub and mask. I like the sound of that. My lips get so dry. Step one, ultra hydrating exfoliating lip scrub. That sounds nice. It doesn't feel too exfoliant neither. Like when I feel it in it, there's not too many lumps or anything in it, so it might be fairly gentle. And then a sleeping lip mask as hydrating, so you're able to keep that on overnight, I'm assuming. After using a apply a sleeping mask on your lips, yeah. Which is fairly cool. So it's just a lip, that's, I just think it's cute and I wanted to try it and it was only 150 and I just picked it up and put it in. My cart. Now, the last two things. Um, I wish I was wearing my contact lenses for this because um, the reason I got these is because I'm, I've been starting to wear contact lenses. And the last, well, I don't know when this haul is going up, but there's going to be a, a spooky box unboxing and there's going to be an AliExpress haul that are going up. Both of them I had my contacts on, but one of them was acting up. I think I got like a smudge on it or something when I was putting it on. I mustn't have cleaned my hands properly or something. And I had to take them off, so that's why I don't have them off for this video. But, because I'm filming these all on the same day. <laughs> but I'm going to try these on anyway. Um, I got some sunglasses basically to wear um, when I am wearing my contacts. And that's something that I have not been able to do. I always, always have to have prescription lenses in my sunglasses. And that just kills me. It really kills me. Merle. Um, it's not a nice thing to have to do because then you're stuck with the one pair of sunglasses. Um... Would you go away? Then you're stuck with the one pair of sunglasses. Sorry, there's just like sticky stuff on this now. Yep, yeah, you're stuck with the one pair of sunglasses and um, I want to be able to change them up. So when I have my contact lenses on for the summer, this is definitely the ones I'm going to be wearing. So sorry, I can't see very well, but um, this was the first pair. Oh my God, they're so cute. Oh, it's really like... um pink like it's got a pink kind of color to it sorry is the lighting going weird um i can't i can't see now that's the thing um i can't see very well at all but these are super cute um they're pink they're very light pink they've got a very reflective um glasses lenses as you can see 
they're very reflective i'm just gonna get up a bit closer but they're super cute i really like them and um i can't wait to wear it like this is this is what i want i want to be able to change up my glasses all of the time right and the next pair that i got okay well, i can't remember the price of them hang on they were four euros so they're not like i don't want to say they're not the cheapest I feel like sometimes you can get them for like two euro and stuff like that. Um, but that was that much anyway. Damn it. I'm after marking these ones now with the sticker trying to take it off. I'll have to mess with that a bit more. Also, they have like the stickers on it to tell you like the UV protection or whatever that's on them. I don't know if that's true. Anyway, these ones were three euro and um, these are like a matte frame. And I really like these and they're really kind of cat eye. They're very kind of squarey, um, but they're really nice. They're pretty much kind of a grey to black kind of tint thing to them. But um, yeah, I really like these too. I think they're really gothy. I like, you know, with the red lips now that I have on now, they look really good. I'm sorry about the lighting. The, the two glasses seem to be messing up the lighting. But um, yeah, I really love them and I just can't wait. I wish I had my contact lenses still on um, to properly test them, you know. But um, yeah, they were the two pairs and I think that those are super, super cute. So that's all the stuff that I got. And um, yeah, I really, I really liked everything I got. I'm not buying much lately. Like I said, you know, hauls would be fairly scarce because I'm trying to save money and stuff. Um, but sometimes I just need things like... I needed them shoes anyway, my other ones are falling apart and then you end up finding all these cute things and I'm like, I want them, so I'm gonna get them because they're so cheap, because <laughs> it's pennies, it's the worst, you go in and you just pick up everything, but um, yeah, everything was super nice and I'm super happy with them and um, yeah, let me know what your favourite item was, let me know, um, have you been doing any Primark shopping lately, I pretty much haven't, I've haven't been in pennies in like ages that was the first time I kind of went in in a long time um even though it was somewhere far away like I have pennies closer to me but anyway I will talk to you guys on my next video and thanks so much for watching bye